Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back to VisualBasic.net tutorials. Today we are going to talk about the classes and see how to use them. Uh, to demonstrate, uh, uh, sorry, to tell you what classes are and demonstrate them, we are going to create a simple application and ex explain things while we develop that application. Okay. First of all, the application will be used to store contact information for a number of people or uh, store them into the disk and load them from the disk. Uh, okay, we did, uh, I think you already have an example similar that we did uh, using stru uh, structure. Uh, classes are similar to structures except that you can combine the operations that you do on the information into one logical unit. So, to start uh, working with the classes, the first thing to do when you have an application is to create um, a class that describe uh, the, uh, the logical unit that your application is dealing with and the logical unit uh, you are dealing with here is the contact information of a person so what we are gonna do is to go and select your project here right click it and select add and then select class okay now this window appears you should provide uh, the information uh, sorry the name of the class and here we are gonna uh, call it uh, contact info contact info okay then you uh, hit add and you get this window okay uh, okay uh, cl usually in classes that uh, the classes doesn't have a graphical user, user interface uh, and uh, each class usually is stored in a separate file okay so let's see what can we do here now here we are gonna define what our logic uh, uh, sorry what our uh, logical uh, sorry uh, unit uh, contains inform uh, uh, sorry what type of information our logical unit contains for example the contact information what does it contain it, it truly contains a name so dimension name a uh, string this is the first one also it has an address a string okay also it has uh, a, a telephone number tl dimension I guess uh, this will be all let me add just a notes field a string okay so these are the information uh, that we we are gonna store in the class and if you check this you'll find that it's very similar to structure but classes works in a very different way okay so far we have just defined uh, what what the class is. It's like this is similar to defining a structure. You, we haven't created any object or anything at all. So uh, to test this, let's create, for example, the contact information for one person and test this out. So go to the form now. Let's add a button to the form. Okay double click that we are going to create an uh, uh, a contact info here and we are going to use it and then we are going to discard it okay so first thing when you define it it is in a way similar to defining uh, a variable of a specific type so the dimension uh, a as okay this is where things get uh, uh, get different. You can write contact info. Now, you write a as contact info. Now, if you want to fill the information, you say a dot. And what you see here is that you don't get any property visible for you. This is because the classes are protect their property from outside outside access okay the idea is uh, it helps you develop frameworks and reusable code and protect ex uh, protect you from accidentally modifying the information and uh, what does this mean 
this means that let's say you are building um, some kind of an important module uh, that others will use certainly you don't want them uh, sorry uh, certainly they will not have the time to read your code and understand every variable that you use and uh, because of that uh, you don't want them to access any variable and modify it for example if you have the variable name or or telephone or, f or notes and they want to access it as they like they might cause a problem because they didn't and uh, sorry they don't understand what you have done here so what you do usually you protect your information uh, from modification by putting them inside the class now you might be asking then how i am gonna fill the information uh, in the in these variable well uh, there are a number of methods. The easiest method is to uh, remove the protection on these variables and make them accessible. Now, instead of writing dimension name, you can write this public name a string. Okay. Now, name will be accessible from outside the class, but no one will be able to access the others. So now, if we go to the code again, and we write a dot you can see the name now is visible so a name equal let's say Smith okay the same goes for the others so now we are gonna change this one to public and this one to public okay as for notes I don't want anyone to see it okay so I can either leave it like this dimension notes a string which will prevent others f and uh, prevent me from accessing this variable or I can write private okay uh, which makes it uh, uh, sorry which uh, will also have the same effect okay so now a private means that this variable is a private it is only used by this class public means that this variable is public anyone can use it any any code can use it whether the code inside this file in the class file or outside like form one okay so this uh, so now when you look at this this private keyword the private sub you get uh, you you can understand that this means that for uh, this subroutine is only private and is only seen by form one and no one can see it this is what it means okay so after we understand how class works and all the keywords you'll find that you will start understanding how the form works better okay so now we fill the name let's fill other things like address equal let's say UK and a dot uh, telephone equal let's say one two three four five six okay so so far it looks like a structure now if you run this code you are gonna have a problem but first let's run this code and get the problem and then we will explain it so hit run okay you get the window here now when you click in here okay you you get this error no reference exception was unhandled okay now the problem here if you place the pointer over a you get a is nothing and here is the major difference between structures uh, and uh, classes Okay, I'm gonna stop the program and start explaining this. Okay, when you write dimension A as contact info and contact information is a class, what this tells the computer that A can store can store uh, uh, contact information, but the computer does not allocate memory resources to store that information it just tell you that a can store contact information that's all okay but a does not contain anything it's like